ampere hour. All of us must have seen a lead acid battery present in the inverters in our homes or in our cars. Batteries create an electron flow in a circuit by exchanging electrons during ionic chemical reactions. However, at any given point in time, there is a limited number of molecules present in any charged battery available to react. Hence, there must be a limited amount of total electrons that any battery can move through a circuit before its energy reserves are exhausted. Therefore, we can measure capacity of a battery in terms of total number of electrons. We can use the unit of charge, the coulomb, which is equal to 6.25 into 10 raised to the power 18 electrons. But that will be a huge number and difficult to manage. To make the quantities more practical to work with, a new unit, ampere hour or amp hour, was introduced to express battery capacity in simple terms. Since 1 ampere is actually a flow rate of 1 coulomb of electrons per second and there are 3600 seconds in an hour, we can derive a direct relation between coulombs and amp hours. 1 ampere hour is simply another way of saying 3600 coulombs. Let's review an example to understand the application of this concept. Question. During a discharge of a lead storage battery, the density of sulfuric acid fell from 1.294 to 1.139 grams per milliliter. Sulfuric acid of density 1.294 gram per ml is 39% H2SO4 by weight and that of density 1.139 gram per ml is 20% H2SO4 by weight. The battery holds 3.5 litre of the acid and the volume remained practically constant during the discharge. Calculate the number of ampere hours for which the battery must have been used. The charging and discharging reactions are This question was asked in IIT JEE 1986. Solution in this question, we are given the initial and final density and strength of sulfuric acid. For 1.0 liter H2SO4. Initial mass of H2SO4 is equal to density into strength, that is, 1 to 94 into 39 by 100 equal to 504.66 gram. And the final mass of H2SO4 is equal to density into strength that is 1139 into 20 by 100 equal to 227.80 gram. Hence, the sulfuric acid consumed per liter is equal to initial mass minus final mass which comes out to be 276.86 gram. Since the volume of battery is 3.5 litre, therefore the total amount of sulfuric acid consumed is equal to 3.5 into 276.86 that is 969.01 gram. Now, the number of moles of sulfuric acid consumed can be calculated by dividing total mass by its molecular weight which is equal to 969.01 by 98, that is 9.888 moles. Because one mole of H2SO4 is associated with transfer of one mole of electrons, therefore a total of 9.888 moles of electron transfer has occurred which means coulomb produced is equal to 9.888 into 96500. Thus, ampere hour is equal to coulomb produced by 3600 that is equal to 265 AH. This concludes our example on how to find ampere hour for any battery. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn. Download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.